Shifting our focus to a story of an avalanche survivor when Fuvio Giovannini was trapped under snow for almost an hour. A glimmer of light helped him remain calm. Our next report brings you the details. My name is Fulvio Giovannini. I was born in 1966. I live in Trento and I work as a building surveyor. On December 14, 2019, I was caught in an avalanche and I came out alive thanks to the Lord. I was trapped under the snow for almost an hour. When Fulvio Giovannini went skiing down the mountains of Dolomites last year, he had no idea that he would end up battling for his life. The building surveyor spends his working days assessing the quality of buildings and writing up reports. But in reality, Giovannini is a bit of a daredevil and spends his spare time doing extreme sports in the mountains. But surviving an avalanche is something no one hopes to add to their list of achievements. Along the snowy mountains, some 100 kilometers away from the avalanche, where it had hit the Val di Altimo, Giovannini relives a story that not many survived to tell. I turned around and looked up and at that moment I saw the crack of the avalanche. I was downstream from the avalanche and therefore I quickly looked around for a place where I could be safe, a place where I could have escaped the avalanche. But it was a slab avalanche and therefore the snow started sliding away from underneath my feet. The avalanche was right under my feet. Soon I saw this massive wall of snow coming right towards me and I told myself, Giovannini, here we are. Ho visto questo muro, uh, questo muro di neve che mi è venuto addosso. Luckily, Giovannini was wearing his Ava Avalanche Transceiver System, which helped the Italian Alpine Rescuer Service locate him. But it took them almost an hour. And stuck under the snow, he could barely move. Però non ero in grado di, né di muovermi. I was unable to move. I was just stuck like being in a slab of concrete. The only movement I could make was nodding slightly with my head from side to side to try to remove some snow around my face and to create some breathing space in front of his nose. I saw a slight glow of filtering through the snow and I said to myself, hey, I'm lucky I see this light and it gave me some hope. I was actually very calm at that moment. I remained calm perhaps because I saw this glare and because I felt I was unharmed. The glimmer of light helped him remain calm. After the rescue, he was taken to the Murano hospital and came out with no injuries and a slight hypothermia. As per the Alpine rescue doctors, anyone buried under the snow has a greater chance of survival if they are pulled out within 15 minutes. Giovannini was under the snow for almost a quadruple of that amount of time. Despite his near-death experience, Giovannini's love for the mountains remains unchanged. It is impossible to resist an avalanche. It is such an enormous force that you cannot tame it. I was lucky. The avalanche overwhelmed me, but I continued to enter and exit the flow of snow without ever going too far deep in the snow. But the truth is that if an avalanche hits you, there is really nothing you can do. The Italian Alps have been under attack by climate change. There is a consistent temperature increase, extreme weather fronts, shrinking glaciers and a persistent risk of avalanches. But even after surviving an avalanche, Giovannini won't stop doing what he loves. To tell you the truth, when you go up to the mountains, you must always be a bit afraid because nature always behaves in an unpredictable way. Just look around a bit. To tell the truth, the next day I went back to the site of the accident to have a good look at the avalanche front and to give myself some courage. It worked out for me. Given my great passion for mountains, despite what happened, I always want to go back to them. Bureau report we on World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.